Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I'm back in UI Builder and my workspace troubleshooting, changing a form. And I'm gonna walk you through what I think is going on and we're gonna find out together whether I'm right or not because I have not rehearsed this. So if you're seeing this, you're gonna see me learn and do this on the fly. Um, what you see behind me is my workspace. I've got a list view over here on the left-hand side. These are all my lists that were auto-populated. And I have, um, let's point to it here, the features all list, all right? So this is ServiceNow features that I'm tracking for the Utah release. And I'll call your attention to um, any of them. I'll just pull up any of these and you're gonna see something that's been irritating me since I started using this and I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it with you live. Notice when I clicked on a feature, the field that's displaying here is the created date and it's displaying in the tab as well as in the header of the record form. So first thing I did is I said, well, now that I'm a little more comfortable in UI Builder, let's go to UI Builder and just change it. So went to UI Builder, navigated to my workspace. Uh, let's scroll right, I got a lot of workspaces. There's Justin's house. And if I scroll down, I see I have the uh, features, I think it's right there, features record page that was built automatically for me. I didn't have to do this. If you've watched my previous videos, I'll link to it over there. Um, but I'll go ahead and click on it and we will see what my features page looks like in UI Builder. Now, if you've never been in here before, let me show you a really, really helpful trick. Um, in fact, I need to change my application scope. I can see the error message I got there. Um, so let's switch on over to Justin's house application um, and we can get rid of that so we'll actually be able to, to see things and change things in here. So that's how I my application picker. But what I wanted to call your attention to was here in the upper left, notice I've got this triangle exclamation point and then table sys id query extra params and views what this is it's, it's it's example data so this is a chance for you to see something on the form notice it's blank now because it doesn't have anything to render to actually show so i'm going to click on here and we're going to put in some test values the first test value is going to be the table name luckily i have the table name sitting over here in my um, other page where the workspace was you can't see the url because i'm hiding it in my recording but i'll show you what i copied and pasted there that's my table name X blah 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 and I'm gonna just tab off and it's gonna automatically pick something on a sys ID and populate that form so it populates a sys ID I can actually go select a record by just hitting that magnifying glass and I can grab one we were looking at this get process job sys ID in the previous screen you can see there so if I wanted to I could just select that one and hit my apply button and now it'll render my form so that I can actually see what's going on um, sometimes it doesn't always render completely and what I'll do is I'll just hop around um, until it does what it's supposed to do maybe hit the apply button again um, and just try clicking on and off things but what you're seeing here is not uncommon um, part of my frustration with UI Builder is it's just kind of wonky sometimes um, but I'm trying to embrace change and get used to it and this doesn't seem to be helping I'm clicking on other things and uh, I'm not getting what I want let's just try um, Oh, let's see. Let's let's get rid of everything right here and see if we can get this to behave. Yeah, okay. Dithered that. And we'll go back in, specify the table, specify the sys ID. We'll pick this one again, hit apply. Let's see if we have any better luck. Nope, but that's all right. Um, because I'm already seeing what I want to see, and that is um, this piece right here. So. This is what's showing, the, and it's showing the primary field, and that's actually really telling. I didn't know that when I was in the workspace. The pri primary field here is actually showing um, here in the label as well. So I could actually edit this. Um, it looks like if I unlock it, so it's pulling at data, so it's from a data source, the record form header primary item. But that tells me I've just got something set incorrectly on the table. Um, primary item display value, if you've ever set up a table in ServiceNow, you can set certain fields or a field on the table to be the primary field or the display field. Um, I think, and let's see if I'm right, if I just change that, I don't have to do anything in UI Builder. Um, I bet you I'm right, but we'll find out. So let's let's leave UI Builder up and let's hop into App Engine Studio and see how right or wrong that I am. While I'm doing that, leave me a comment down below. What do you think it's gonna be? Is it gonna be I have to change the display value or do I gotta go back to UI Builder? Uh, I'm gonna hop into ServiceNow release notes, but seriously, leave a comment before I actually do it, before you actually see it. Um, and we can see uh, what's going on there. I'm gonna open up 
Um, that is the features table. So I'm gonna open up the features table and we just need to change the display value. Um, oh, this is even more interesting. Let me move my head. Look at that. I don't have a field set to display. And so the system is picking created the created date automatically um, because I don't have anything set. Uh, so bad Justin, I should have set the feature name as the display value. Uh, there we go, let's do that, let's save. Um, that should do it. And I'm gonna close out of there. Actually, I'm not gonna close, I'm gonna leave it up just in case I need to come back. I'm gonna go to my workspace and I'm just gonna close that out. Refresh the workspace, so we're just refreshing the, so I wanted to grab the change I just made to the table, hoping that will do the trick. And then I'm just gonna open the feature and see if uh, if my problem's resolved. If it is, this will be really funny because I thought <laughs> I was gonna teach you something about UI Builder and teach myself, of course, but I think all I've ended up doing was teaching about how to set up your tables properly in ServiceNow, and if done properly, the automation that happened before will work when I open a feature. Let's see if I'm right. And I, I can see I'm already right. Yep, that's all I had to do. My tab title is correct, and my title in the header is correct. So, um, wow, uh, unexpected lesson learned there. All you need to do is set up your table properly and um, the workspace that Justin made would have been working correctly and not been frustrating. So I hope you found this video helpful. I certainly found it helpful and funny. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in more exposure to UI Builder and exposure to setting up your tables correctly in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.